Hey everybody, so the local government in my area has decided to ban these things. They're disposable portable barbecues and apparently, if you believe the stories, they're worse than bear traps, causing fires and havoc everywhere and damaging kids running around in play areas. So much so, the local governments are banning these all over the place. Now there is a call for a national ban, but so far that hasn't actually got very far. The government's just shifted it to the local government level and the local government are uh, invoking their nuisance laws to make them illegal in public places and in my case 14 miles of beach. It has become such an issue that the major retailers, uh, Asda, Sainsbury's, Little Marks and Spencer's, the to name but a few, have removed it from their shelves for sale to the public and the stated reason being public safety. If a ban does go in place, of course there's not a lot we can do about it and that's going to be the end of beach barbecues. Unless of course you drag down a non-portable version, break the law, suffer the fine or buy one of these. What is that price? They're stupid money. So unless you're prepared to spend stupid money, pre-cook your food. Or make something yourself. Now you can make such a thing using these. And these are stunningly available. If you put in solar thermal evacuated tube into a Google search, you'll come across loads of them. Now this was £10, but I have seen this at $5 each if you buy 10 of them, which is just madness really when you think about it. It's 50 millimetres long and it's 58 millimetres across the outside edges. So that's all that costs you. Now you can get these in a whole range of sizes. I mean, they go up to a couple of metres long. This will go up to, uh, I think, 150 millimetres, which is six inches. So that's huge. I mean, bear in mind, you can buy that for about $55 if you buy it direct from China. If you buy it in Europe, it's actually about £250. So it's quite a markup, really. But then they do have to get it through customs and ship it. But these are available in a whole range of sizes. We're going to use this one because we've got it. But if we were to get one at six inches, then we could make an absolutely huge oven. Now, we used this to make this solar kettle and essentially a solar barbecue is exactly the same thing, but instead of being like that, it's like that. That's all, all the difference there is. If I were to take this and lay it just like that, I'd have myself a solar barbecue. But of course that's not particularly attractive. What we want is something that's maybe a bit more barbecue-esque. So of course I turned to Tinkercad and I printed off these four parts. The Tinkercad files are freely available and I'll put the link in description. So these four parts are all we need to make our solar barbecue plus one of these and this reflector and hinge section at the back. The hinge section is here from the Tinkercad file and it goes together like that to make the hinge and we put a bit of 8mm threaded bar down there to complete that hinge. But that is anything but a reflector right now. So I want to show you this stuff. Now I'm not getting paid to do this, I bought this and I discovered it a while ago. It's a Rust-Oleum paint product called Mirror Effect. Now, Mirror paints have been very disappointing. This stuff is astonishing actually, how easy and well it forms a mirror. So I'm going to spray paint the inside of these with mirror effect to create a couple of curved mirrors. And that's what that stuff looks like. Now, you could probably get the same effect pretty much if you just stuck some aluminium down there, but it does give a really nice mirror finish and it's a piece of cake. Now, we have two ends to this. We have a blanked off end and we have a, an end with a hole right the way through it. For the blanked off end, you can see I put three 8mm threaded rods at 43 centimeters each because our tube goes in there like that. This end then goes on there like that until it meets those three screws, the three bolts, sorry. But before you do that, you've got to insert your reflector and you'll notice that there's a big old hole here to take the reflector and equally there's a big old hole here. The reflector goes in that hole like that and that's it shut up. Now we can put the top bit on. Okay, <laughs> that's it together. And as you can see, looking remarkably like the kettle. These bits are feet. Okay, so we put the feet on by resting that in there. Right. 
for the side goes on that. Of course we can glue the feet down or put a screw in them, the reflector opens up and that's it finished. Now we need to actually fix that and as I say you can put a screw in it and if you want to make sure that this bit is makes a 45 degree angle there and then fix on the feet either by gluing and screwing put together and ready to go. Now I did make a little bit of a food shelf right here from some bent stainless steel. I had some sheet stainless steel lying around. There we go. I cut a strip of it and bent it over into that U and put a plastic handle. Now I guess you could use a bit of aluminium like say from an old computer case or something like that. But your food goes in there, that goes in there and we're ready to cook. So when it's shut, it's actually stunningly neat and kind of portable. Anyway, we're having another glorious day, so let's get something in there and cook it. And I'm going to go for some sausages. Okay, rumour is this should take 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hey, they're hot and they look cooked. Let's put them in some bread and try them. Well, surprisingly enough, it worked to a treat. Now, I did have to wait for the sun. We started having a cloudy day and we had to wait for a period for the sun to come out to cook the sausages, but it cooked them fine and in about 20 minutes or so. Because these things, remember, are being sold and there's cooking times and um, different configurations all over the place. My argument is they're a bit expensive. I mean, this is £120. You can get a two-barrel version, which is £250. You can get the six-inch version, which is £650. And that strikes me as crackers when you can buy these for somewhere like £10 and build your own. OK, we've used 3D printing, but you could build your own for probably 15 pounds or so but it does do the job and it does do it within the time so I'm not, not really surprised but quite impressed and I'm going to enjoy my bake, my sausage sandwich and my cup of coffee so if you want to save your summer barbecue chances are you could do worse than something like that anyway I hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe <laughs>